Hi everyone, it's Debbie Mirza, the author of The Covert Passive Aggressive Narcissist. And today I want to talk to you about being strong. So when you're with a narcissist um, in any type of relationship, especially the longer you've been with them, it really does a number on your self-esteem and um, it leaves you, f you really get used to being someone who feels very weak and helpless um, and out of control and um, it's really important. I want to just kind of give you a thought today. I actually put this out on Instagram and Facebook today. Just the question, what if you gave yourself permission to be really strong? And I say this because it's a really simple concept, but it's really big. <laughs> As you'll know, because I'm sure you are not feeling strong right now, and you're not even sure how to get there, I would imagine. And what happens when we are with people that are narcissistic is our brain literally learns patterns of being, and we learn, we take on beliefs, and we take on thoughts about ourselves and about life. And that becomes our default. The way we feel becomes a default for our body. So it's up to us whether we're going to retrain it or stay in that place of feeling weak. So a really powerful thing you can do is if you're, if you're coming up to something, like for instance, this week I actually have something um, with the covert narcissist in my life that I want to feel strong. In the past, um, uh, it's brought me a lot of anxiety and fear, and I felt small. And so one thing you can do if you have something coming up, like let's say you have a court date or mediation or arbitration, or maybe you're going to your daughter or son's graduation and your ex is going to be there, or maybe this is your mother and you know the holidays are coming or someone's birthday is coming you know you're going to be around them it it brings up that PTSD you know that we're all so familiar with and one thing to ask yourself is picture yourself this is actually a really powerful exercise for your brain and for your body picture yourself in that situation and ask yourself what would it be like if i felt really strong in that situation what would that feel like and then kind of explore that with yourself and what you're doing is literally introducing your brain to a new way of being and you're kind you can almost literally tell your brain this is the new me <laughs> so let's get used to this feeling and as as you know as best as you can do really sit with that picture and close your eyes and visualize how it would feel to be really strong in that situation and practice that with with spend time doing that because the more you do that you literally are retraining the neural pathways in your brain and you're introducing something to it and the more your body experiences that the more that will become your default because you, it became normal for you to feel weak. And that's not what you were made to feel and experience in this life. So you want to retrain yourself. And, and the more you do that, the more you'll find yourself being incredibly strong in situations that you never thought you could be. So I hope that's helpful to you. And, and sometimes when I posted it on Instagram, I have a picture of a lion. It's not a lion. Now I'm blanking out on the animal, but it's something strong like that. Maybe it is a lion. I think a female lion. And it just has this caption about being strong, you know? And and there's something helpful about, I think animals are so helpful. They bring out different characteristics. It's like, you know what? I'm really wanting to like channel the strength of that animal today. Um, I recently saying in a concert, which I've never done before in my life. So I was completely freaked out and completely nervous. And I told them there was, I was about to sing this song that's really powerful. And I, I stopped and I told the audience, I said, I'm going to ask for your help. 
And I tell you this as really a metaphor for life. You know, times when you're facing something where you're really nervous, reach out and ask for help. So I asked the audience, I said, I, I really want to get this song across to you and I don't want to cry. And I can really easily cry when I sing because I get really emotional. So I asked them, could you all close your eyes and just v visualize and feel the element of fire? And I can't, I can't tell you like how amazing it was to have them do that. And instantly I felt it in my body. This like strength came over me. And I sang that song with more strength than any other song I sang. And it was really amazing. So that's something you can do for yourself too. Um, they've actually done, I was with um, a group of coaches. I was trained by Martha Beck to be a life coach. I don't know if you know that. Um, I was trained by, I was together at this conference and this woman did a thing that was really fascinating. She had someone stand next to her um, and she asked all of us to feel anger or sadness, you know, kind of things we don't want to feel. And then she muscle tested um, the woman next to her. And if you don't know what that is, a lot of chiropractors and naturopaths do this um, where your body knows what's true and what's not and what feels good and what doesn't. And so when you're feeling something that doesn't feel good, your body goes weak. So when someone muscle tests you, you actually stick your arm out and then they push it down. And if you're feeling weak stuff, your body, you know, you try and resist it, your body will go weak. It even works with truth. Like if, if someone does this to me and I say, my name is Bob, <laughs> I won't be able to resist it. I won't have the strength because my body knows that's not true. It's fascinating. So anyway, she had this woman next to her and she had us all feel these sad feelings or angry feelings. She muscle tested the woman and she went weak. Then she told her, okay, now I want you to picture yourself sitting on a platform and there's water all around you and the water all around you comes up like giant fountains all around you and this is a protection you know a protection of angels or whatever you want to picture i want you to see that and i want to know you're pro i want you to know you're protected so the woman did that and then she asked all of us in the circle around this woman say to now feel anger, rage, sadness, stuff like that. And this time she muscle tested the woman and she stayed strong. And I tell you this because a lot of this, a lot of us are very empathic. We pick up what other people are feeling. And so it shows you how much power you have to actually protect yourself from that. So visualization is amazing and it's really powerful to the brain. And so I encourage you to just sit with the thought, what if I gave my permission to become a really strong person, to be really strong with whatever you're dealing with? So I hope that helps and I will talk to you soon.